Okay, in this video I just want to talk about the midpoint formula. And all the midpoint formula says, it says that the midpoint between two points, x sub 1 comma y sub 1, and x sub 2 comma y sub 2, it says all you do is add the x coordinates, divide by 2, add the y coordinates, and also divide by 2. Um, I've, uh, in my experience I've noticed some people sometimes forget, you know, the signs, they'll sometimes subtract. And one way to maybe think about it is, you know, Take a kind of a concrete example. Suppose you took two tests and you made a 50% on the first one and a 100% on the second one. And I asked you, I said, well, if those are your test scores, what's your test average? Most people would say your test average is 75%. And I normally when I ask them how you get it, they say, well, to average, you add the things together and you divide by the number of them. So you'd have 150 over 2 or simply 75%. Um, so, you know, notice a midpoint is just an average of two things. So, if you can remember it in that context, maybe it'll help you remember that um, you should be adding the x coordinates divided by 2, adding the y coordinates divided by 2. So, in this example, um, I'm just going to simply find the midpoint between these two points. I've got the point negative 5, comma, negative 6, and then I've got the point um, 5, comma, 8. So, let me try to you know, maybe connect those with a line if I can. So, not the straightest of lines, but a line nonetheless. So, to me, intuitively, the midpoint should be, you know, somewhere around there. So, you know, based on my solution, at least I can even get a quick little conceptual guess about what it should be. So, it simply says, again, to find the midpoint, piece of cake, all we have to do is add the x coordinates. So maybe we can label them as well. So this will be x sub 1. This will be the point y sub 1. Again, these are kind of generic labels. It doesn't matter um, which one you call x1, y1, which one you call x2, y2. So it says if we add the x coordinates, we'll get negative 5 plus 5 divided by 2. And then it says uh, the midpoint for the y coordinates will get negative 6 plus 8 and divide that by 2. And if we simplify that down, negative 5 plus 5 will be 0 divided by 2. Um, negative 6 plus 8 is 2 divided by 2. And that simply reduces to the point 0, comma, 1. And to me, that seems reasonable. 0, 1, hey, that would be a point right on the y-axis. So that seems correct. And notice in this case as well, things are kind of symmetric. Um, we're at negative 5, we're at positive 5, so we're 5 units to the right of the y-axis, 5 units to the left of the y-axis. The midpoint should be, you know, 0 units away from the y-axis, which would correspond to an x-coordinate of 0. Um, you know, so again, it's good to know formulas, but I think if you sketch a little picture on these two, if you're taking an exam or something like that, um, you can quickly verify that whether it's at least in the ballpark or not. So, um, all right, I hope this video makes some sense and helps you out. If you have any questions about the midpoint or any questions or comments about this video, as always, please feel free to post them. Hopefully me or somebody else can point you in the right direction.